Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the video. Today's video, I got one of the most insane matches that if you want to play competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! this format, you have to watch it. This is two of the best decks this format and absolutely amazing gameplay, so don't miss it. With that being said, let's get straight into it. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get it. I'm going to channel my inner DB grinder for this video, and I'm going to end up commentating this entire duel uh, it, it's it, it's an amazing match. I want to shout out uh, Roberto Patterson for, for having this cool tournament where a bunch of well-known Yu-Gi-Oh players, we duel each other, uh, going all the way to the top. This is, I believe, round three. We're both 2-0. And uh, yeah, so the winner of this goes to the semifinals. A lot of well-known Yu-Gi-Oh players are in it. You can go subscribe to his channel down below. You guys can see the semifinals and the finals and all that. This is a match. This is against Calvin Tahan, who's also a really known Yu-Gi-Oh player. He's going to go first. He's playing Sword Soul, and I'm playing uh, basically my Synchro Elledge deck, but no Elledge. So just Synchro Gas. Synchro Gas 60 cards. I open Nash Radler, so instantly you're going to think that this is an insane hand. But uh, with the way Calvin plays this, he plays this really, really well against hand traps. You're going to see what I'm talking about. Before we get into it, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button, though. Smash the like button. Also, check out all the links down below. And amazing Patreon for lots of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pendulum content! Let's go. So, he starts off here with Long Gone Discard Blackout. This is a much better play than Discard Taiye. You guys are going to see why in a bit. This sets up Long Gone. This protects it from all hand traps. Just to have the Baron uh, right away. But you know what? I see the Baron. I'm like, okay, that's fine. You know, he goes Emergence. I can Ash it. Uh, we're still in a good scenario. Depending on what he has, he goes Taiye. Now, a big issue with just Taiye. If this is just Taiye, I would hand trap. Uh, I would Veiler the Taiye. If he negates the Baron, it doesn't matter. The Baron negates gone. Uh, it's still a solid scenario. But he has blackout in the grave, which means that if I were to, if you were to Veiler the Taiye right now, uh, he would just get a free token for you to have double token. That really does not help me at all. So because he's going to get a, another token anyways, why would I Veiler? Because he's just going to be able to synchro eight anyways. So I make the executive decision here to hold the Veiler to eventually just, I don't know, maybe discard it. And I, I hope that he perhaps hit something else in the future. Here he goes into Shi Shao. So instantly I'm like, okay, the obvious play here is Shi Shao search blackout, right? But he already banished the blackout. And most Sword Soul players only play one blackout. Stuff like that is very important to see. When I played Sword Soul for a little bit, I only played one blackout. And I do think a majority of Sword Soul players only play one. So if I were to Veil the Shishao to stop the blackout, I would. But there's no blackout. So he already used Long Yuan. I'm not scared of any play here. And so I'm like, I'm letting this go. I also decide not to Ash the Taiye because what's going to happen? If he goes Ashina, Ashina, Adhara, it doesn't actually do anything for him. So at this scenario, he played very well through the hand traps with the Baron, this Long Gone Discard Blackout for the double uh, special off the Taiye and not going uh, Long Gone Discard Taiye to save the Blackout. It was very genius there because not all my hand traps just do nothing. Uh, he goes Shisha, Taiye, Chilling 2. I let this resolve and he searches a Sacred Sword Summit. I'm like, uh-oh. So this is maybe going to give him another Synchro. Uh, he doesn't use the effect of Moye and I wasn't going to Veiler it either. So I literally, he ends up playing through to double hand trap of Ash Veiler, sets up a triple negate and a draw. If I ask the Moye to stop one draw, I'm like, honestly, I can't do that. I have to actually just hope he draws nothing. Because in this scenario of having a very tough way to clear this board, I'm literally just going to need, like, some luck. Like, I'm just going to need... I most likely lost the duel. I'm going to need him to draw nothing. He ends up drawing a Chalice. <laughs> so it's not nothing. We're going to have to deal through here with double... Tr six negates here. This is triple Veiler, essentially. Double Chalice Veiler. Uh, Dragite, top of Spell Trap. Uh, then you got Shisha. So you got, basically got four Veilers. Uh, Omni Negate and then uh, Dragite. So if you look at my hand, you're gonna think, Trip, there's no fucking shot you beat this. There's no way. But you have to think, what interruptions are they? So there's for sure no blackout because the blackout's gone. I'm thinking Imperm, Imperm, Imperm called by, maybe Drop was called by, something along these lines here. So I make the decision here. I want, I'm like, what, what can I do here? Do I Souls draw? Do I do this? Do I do that? And I really see only one line here to help me. It hard loses to called by, but we're never really playing around a one of. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what he has here. So I go Illusion of Chaos, Special Souls, bring out Illusion of Chaos, Normal Summon, Rose Dragon. I do not activate the effect of Souls because if I show him that I hard draw a base of Rose Shoot, he will not negate Red Rose Dragon. He will not. There's no shot. So I cannot discard Basil. I have to keep Basil in my hand. I can't let him see that I have it. So I go strictly into Herald. Herald now allows it so I can negate the Baron to floor. And he cannot use Xi Shao, Veil, or nothing because Herald tributes his cost. Uh, so if he goes, uh, I'm going to go Red Rose Dragon here. So if he goes Veiler Chainlink 2 on Herald, 
It doesn't do anything because, like, then he can't chain link three negate the red rolls unless he has called by. So I know I'm losing the called by here. I mentioned I'm gonna lose. Like, I just know I'm losing the called by. Uh, and then he goes bear in the gate, which is what I was expecting because having a rock rose come out is just way too adva uh, advantageous. So I trigger the herald to destroy the baron. One card gone. Okay, Trig red rose now triggers special link rocks rose. I cannot trigger the effect of red rose sadly, so I just use red rose from uh, basil rose shoot, shoot from my hand. He says yikes. I'm like yeah, that's a major yikes. If I had, if I had basil rose in my hand and maybe like a right or something, I was clearing this board with a question. Now it's gonna be very difficult. I'm thinking what on God's green earth is there set? Uh, like there's no called by now there's no blackout it has to be imperm has to be droplets that's what i'm thinking obviously i'm not thinking about chalice i'm thinking about hand traps here uh he opts to negate the the dragite and this was very i'm like i was very sad by that i'm like really like i do not think he should have negated the basil like negating basil rosher here i think is uh i don't think it's negatable uh, because uh it's very it's very like uh not obvious but like you know, I, I've played no spells. Doesn't it seem like I would perhaps be saving my spells for later? Maybe I'm saving an Itali. Maybe I'm saving a right of Aramisir that's going to be obviously, like, negated by a Dragite. So I think that might have been a little bit premature, but it did help out. He also might have foretold that I had a, 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 a spell. He could have done some math that clearly I had. A, maybe I had a hand trap or something that was negated by the way he played his turn. So maybe that was his decision that there's no spells. Also, he does have a bunch of negates. So just using your negates is, is fine because you have so many if that makes sense so instantly this looks like a really losing situation all i have is one foxy one foxy tune versus four negates who will win who will win this is insane i use the effect here i said get rid of ash because village is better versus deck bring out zayamin zayamin is going to be negated obviously uh with shishao and then here's where it gets crazy i go into cherubini Cherubini is a cost which cannot be stopped. Send right of send water enchantress. I said I brought up called by, but I'm like there's no shot. There's called by. There's no shot. There's blackout because we already went through the motions. Like red rolls would have been called by instead of baron, and there's no shot that he plays two. Uh, here he goes right. I uh, I search. I go right. I should have put right under the Cherubini. Uh, I realized 0 0.1 seconds after, but we are playing in a tournament, so I did not want to move my right to where it should have been. But 100%. I, I literally 0 0.1 seconds after I should have put it right here because of Chirubini's effect, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, I borrow Fateful. I'm like, there's no Black anyways, it's fine. Uh, and then I go, effect, I, I don't get, get Griffin. I make sure to get Water Enchantress. I'm trying to set up a Selene play here. I'm trying to set up a Selene. I know he has, like, it has to be improved. But, like, I look, there's no shot he plays Double Summit. There's no shot he held. Uh, I thought maybe he was holding Emergence and kept it as, like, a crazy bluff. But I'm like, there's just no shot. There's literally no shot. So it has to be Droplets. And perhaps uh, uh, he just didn't activate his Emergence to, to like, bluff a trap or something so instead of griffin i get uh enchantress here to make sure i'm able to go into selene i get draco back draco back i do not send a set clearly the imperm and chalice or not Dr chalice clearly it's imperm droplets emergence whatever bouncing it does nothing for me in this scenario it also has a potential hand trap i bounce i try to get his board out of there i try i want his board out of there so i go selene here selene effect he veilers i'm like okay uh i'm gonna have to pass here uh then he goes into uh into battle he attacks i'm like all right no problem drop return snow i don't know how the hell we're playing around six interruptions here but that's what enchantress does that's what like this deck just plays around interruptions so well draco back to bounce the shisha out of there i'm not bouncing the set i don't care what it sets i want his board gone uh i use this to search right for next turn i had an option here to play into a lot of stuff i could have summoned snow i could have done some plays i was missing lina i really want to play lina but i don't have space for it uh, get rid of the token, get rid of the right, but then I lose a lot of advantage. Having Draco back here is actually massive. So I just attack for 2k, and he's got to deal with Snow and Griffin, which is typically going to be more than enough in this scenario. Uh, he summons Vashuda. I'm like, I'm just going to, just in case it's only, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to book this right now. Uh, I'm not playing around a hard drawn Taiye when he had it earlier. I'm not playing around two hard drawn Taiyes. No shot. Like, I'm just, I'm just going to book this now. Uh, I book it. He lets it go. Sets three. All right. I'm going to bounce this and attack for game. He imperms. Uh, and I'm going to go Foxy too, and that's just game. Now, I want you guys to scroll back look at this video. Uh, we were playing through six negates here with only three playable cards, and we broke it. Uh, Calvin played really well, too, versus hand traps. But at the end of the day, uh, when you trade off cards that are good versus, like, like Veilers, you're going to do very well. So we're going to go on to game number two over here, where Gamma is going to pass his turn. Uh, he's going to have a mistaken arrest, which is <laughs> going to pass our turn, basically. Uh, we set up Anima. I did not want to. I really did not want to reveal a token collector. I could have token collector on the uh, Moye, but I don't want to reveal that I have token collector. 
I want him to commit his board. I want him to commit his hand. I want him to go emergent search long one, discard long one, waste two cards. Then I want to token collector his ass. And so that's why I really wanted to do that. But it's okay. He knows I have it. And I really don't like revealing the token collector because they'll play around it, but it's fine. I set up a gold soldier, a needle fiber, I tire 1500, call it a day. Here he draws Chalice, he goes Summit, Moye. Instantly seeing him, he's playing around like he has a DD code for Token Collector. In my eyes, I'm like, okay, he actually has an answer to Token Collector for sure. It was Chalice. I thought it was like like DD Crow or something because why would he just randomly summon a Moye just like that? Like, So I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, Calvin's a really good player. I have to think now a little deeper than like, like he has to have something. So he, it turns out it was a Chalice. I thought it was a DD Crow. But he summons an op. I opt. Not to token collector the, the token because I know he has a Vishuda in hand, so I just go soaker the Moye, okay, get it off the field, and then at this point, I could special the token collector, destroy the token, trigger needle fiber to send a level one and make Baron the floor, only to lose to Vishuda. I would prefer for the token to actually hurt him to have the Vishuda on the field and have the token hurt him. That's what I would prefer in this scenario. Ends up being the wrong choice but still if i just did all that play and just have him vishuda bounce it and then summon taille it would have or moye it would have been the exact same result if that makes sense so i would have just let that i would have i prefer to let it go and let him special another token or something uh i go needle fiber here to send out shooting riser I hope he, he misplays and goes into Moye because Mistaken Arrest stops him from adding two. He does not. He goes into Baxia. I let the Baxia resolve because I do not want him to Vishuda the Shooting Riser. Because if he Vishuda the Shooting Riser, he can Adhara add the Vishuda back in his hand. I prefer him just not to be in that situation. So I let him do it. And then just so he doesn't get into the Synchro 9, which is going to give him a lot of good follow-up to Chao Feng. I Veiler now. And uh, he only has one interruption left against my Rose Dragon and my Enchantress. And I draw Plague, I'm like, okay, uh, let's just hope it's not a called by. It turns out it was never a called by or a DD Crow, so maybe I should have just used it anyways. And the second was right resolved, it was game over. So we're going to win this match, and it was really well played from Calvin. I'm very impressed with this game one. Uh, despite getting too old, uh, the game one was very impressive because it's like he knew that I had the hand traps in my hand, and he played around it. So it's always commendable to see. Uh, if you guys want to see the list that I used, this is the list that I used for the tournament. Uh, I think this deck's absolutely insane. If I was going to play regional, this is the list I'd be using. The only thing I would change is uh, Zombie Vampire in this deck. You know, you're not always going to mill 9. It is there for dire situations. I just I think milling 9 is just so absurd. But it could run the risk of your opponent milling some graveyard effects, obviously. And typically summoning the Zay Amin would just give you everything you're looking for with Chaos Ruler anyways. So I would advise removing the Zombie Vampire for a Lina. Lina came up multiple times. Lina is so important. To not just play around interruptions, but you just specially tuner like that when you're missing a tuner. And you have a lot of lights in the deck. It might not even look like it, but I mean, you're shooting risering a snow every single game. Like, it's it just so good. Punisher is another card you can remove for it. Or Black Rose has come up multiple times. Black Rose would have been absurd. Uh, like, well, I would have got Valor, so it didn't matter. But I think uh, having a Synchro 7 non-tuner is important. But that's overall the deck. Good job, Calvin, playing well. Shout out to the tournament. Um, 6-0 in the tournament in games right now. It's 3-0 in matches. So we'll see what happens in the semifinals. Hope you guys enjoyed this DB Grinder style video. Shout out to DB Grinder as well. I love DB Grinder's content, bro. I wake up every morning. DB Grinder, two times speed. Get some coffee out. Watch a duel or two. See what I'm missing in the meta. And get on with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next video. Don't forget to smash this card. Smash the like button. See you guys next video. Peace.